Hey everyone, Andrew here. Uh, first of all, apologies if I'm looking a little bit shinier than usual. Um, I had uh, an IKEA um, event this afternoon, as in I had to put something together out of a flat pack, and uh, as I think probably most of you will know, that is something which uh, always starts off very well but doesn't necessarily end very well, and that's the case today. But we've decided to hell with it. I've got some wonderful uh, juices here, tea juices, all coming uh, sent to me by easysmoke.ie uh, and I'll put the address up here. Now, uh, tea juice is uh, quite a well-known uh, um, brand and, you know, seem to be a quality brand and they actually have a few new flavours out. So anyhow, uh, they very kindly sent me eight flavours, which I'm going to try. Uh, in each case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a cartomizer, a an LR or low resistance cartomizer, and I'll just be actually sticking it onto a, an Ego C battery. Uh, so each juice has got a separate cartomizer. And then in between, as I usually do, I will have as my palate cleanser a cup of tea. Now, the last time I mentioned that, on a previous review that I did, it turned into an excuse upon a bit of a storm in a teacup. Um, for any of you in Ireland, you'll know this. For anybody outside of Ireland, you probably won't. But um, it's just like Dublin. In Dublin, you've got the South Siders. I'm a South Sider. And you've got the North Siders. And never the twain should meet. And likewise, with tea, you've got people who like lion's tea and you've got people who like Barry's tea. Now, I am a lion's tea drinker. I mentioned that the last, last time, foolishly, uh, and as a consequence, I've been abused from a height ever since from all the Barry's tea people, um, even though, as far as I'm concerned, it's just, you know, anyway, I'm not going to say anything. But for the purposes of fairness and trying to appease all of those people with those tea issues, this time we're going with this, okay? So... Some people suggested that by me using uh, uh, lion's tea the last time, that it was going to somehow sort of screw up the flavours. Um, of course it wouldn't, because it's a very, very fine blend. But then again, so is Barry's tea. Anyhow, that's what we're going to go with. I'm going to do one after the other. I'll have a little break in between each one. Um, and all I can do really is just give you my opinion as to what I think of the juice. Uh, as ever... My taste buds, my opinion, um, is not necessarily going to concur with yours. But what I will do is I'll taste it relative to what their description of the liquid is, see if I'm getting what it is that they're saying it actually is, and uh, then whether or not I actually like it. Uh, in each case, I'll put up the price and I'll put up the, um, the different strengths, etc., etc., uh, just before starting, um, I just did a, a another review on starter kits, you know, for people who are just starting vaping. And within that, there was a sort of a little liquid section. Um, and I did highlight the tea juice um, bottles uh, for a good reason, because when you actually look at them, um, the amount of detail on these bottles is just amazing. Everything, how it's broken down, how it's made, you know, um, what the various different elements are, the fact that it's, you know, childproof top, the fact that it's got a nice pointy nozzle, which makes it very easy to fill anything. Um, you know, it's a small thing. In the end, you know, what's written on the bottle's got absolutely nothing to do with the taste or the quality of the liquid. But again, you know, generally speaking, if you see a bottle which is sort of well put together, well labelled, has all of the elements on it, then there's a pretty good chance of what the contents, uh, you know, the contents that are in there are going to be pretty good. So that's it. Um, so we'll start off with the first one and then we'll go through each one and uh, I'll try and keep it as quick as I can. Talk to you in a sec. Right, number one. Uh, first one we're going for here is uh, UK Smokes. Here it is. And this is 16 milligram, which is slightly higher than I would normally be vaping. But um, let's see what this one's like. Now, again, as I said, in a Bogue uh, LR Carto. And we'll pop it onto this. And we'll see what it tastes like. What they actually say about it is... 
just like a traditional UK cigarette, which is drier than and not as sweet as other tobacco flavours in the tea juice range with faint notes of burley and latakia. This is a subtle and smooth tobacco taste which makes it a great all-day vape. Okay, that's what they're saying, so let's see what's it like. Now this is, uh, I've got this running at just under 4, about 3.9 uh, on a, actually I'll put it up to say 4, and this is around the 2 mark on a uh, uh, this Bogue uh, Carto here. They say there that it's uh, not as sweet as other tobacco flavours. There is, there's definitely a sweetness here. It's a good throat hit. There is a sweetness. There's definitely a sweetness there. Um, tobacco-y, yeah, it's, it's, well, there is certainly tobacco there, but it's, it's more on the blonde, blonder side of things. Definitely on the blonder side of things. Uh, it's not like a really heavy um, tobacco. They're talking about hints of, of uh, Burley and Latakia. Frankly, I don't know what Latakia is, but um, it's really it's it's really quite nice. It's surprisingly nice, actually. It. It isn't a really, really intense taste. Um, it is, um, as I said, ever so slightly sweet, um, but I could very, very easily uh, go on that all day without any question at all. Um, surprisingly good. So that's UK Smokes. Um, again, not a big tobacco. It's a lighter tobacco, slightly sweet, um, nice throat hit on it, good vapor coming off it. Uh, so yeah, definitely a thumbs up for that one. So number one down and very, very good. Okay, our next one is called um, Cubana, and it is 16 milligrams. Let's just make sure I have the right cart out. No, that's the wrong one. Let's have a look here. Cubana, yeah, I have them etched onto each of them to make sure I don't get it uh, messed up. So let's pop this one on here. Uh, the description for it is, um, this is one of the most realistic cigar tobacco vapes ever. Carefully selected, hand-picked Havana prime leaves are used to make this formidable potion. These are processed and steeped to bring out the maximum flavour and feeling. There are subtle, high notes of cocoa which round the whole flavour and cleverly become hidden after the first couple of pulls. This will blow your socks off. And uh, standard mix on this is 80 PG, 20 VG. I meant to mention beforehand, uh, it seems to be that most of these for a 30 ml bottle is um, 15.95. And in this particular case, it seems to be that it's only available as 16 milligram. Uh, now, whether or not that's the case, or that that's all that they have in at the moment, I'm not sure. But what I will do is I'll put up on the video uh, what strengths and what price and so forth, so I don't have to just repeat it the whole bloody time right the way through it, okay? So here we go, anyway, Cubana. See what this is like. That's different. Again, it's, this is another tobacco. Obviously, the, the previous one was a tobacco, and this is definitely not a blonde tobacco at all. Very good throat hit. It's a bigger sort of a flavor than the previous one. Um, it mentions uh, subtle high notes of cocoa. Um, I'm not sure that I'm actually getting that, uh, but I'm certainly getting the sort of the cigar-y side of things, for sure. Again, that is a very, very nice one. Um, there's something in there. There's, 
and I can't quite pick out what it is, but it's it's almost like uh, there's it's almost like there's a little fruity thing going on there, but I, I can't sort of say what fruit it is. And there, in all likelihood, there's no fruit in it whatsoever. Otherwise, I would imagine they would have described it. But it, it almost sort of tastes slightly like that. It's also a bit spicy. There's, a, there's some sort of a spicy element to that. Um, that's very, very nice. So, again, second one that I've tried... Uh, and I would like that. Which one would that be an all day? Uh, probably not so much. I mean, I certainly could. Um, but the UK smokes. Uh, the last one that I did is 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 possibly a, a you know a, because it's a bit subtler. The flavour on this is 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 fairly strong, um, but very very nice. Um, I could imagine that that'd be a great one. You know, if you're heading out of an evening, uh, to have that loaded up in something. So, Cubana. Um, yeah, definitely a thumbs up. Okay, third up, we have another tobacco one. Uh, this one's called uh, Prima Verde. There you see it there again at 16 milligrams. Um, fairly sort of darkish kind of a colour this one, you know, uh, and in terms of the smell, it's, it's quite sort of, you know, um, quite strong smell. Let's see, what does it say? It says, this juice is a complex, deep, dark and rich tobacco flavour with strong notes of burley and some subtle notes of bright Virginia. Exhaled slowly through the nose, you can really taste the complexity of the tobacco blend. This is an analogue. This is as analogue a cigarette tobacco taste as you will ever experience using an electronic cigarette. Uh, again, it's an 80-20. Um, so let's uh, see if it is. Slightly sweet going in, not unpleasantly, slightly sweet going in. Mm, cigarette, um, to me it's, again, if, if you take it that you've got cigarette here and you've got cigar here, it's probably somewhere in the middle, you know, I, to, to me that isn't um, pure blonde cigarette, you know, that that is, is, is more sort of a heading, you know, towards the cigar flavour of things, because it's a sort of like a, a, a darker kind of a, a taste to it. It's also got that, um, there's a taste you sometimes get in, in tobacco flavours where it's almost like a sort of an ashy taste. Now, I've come across that before in a number of liquids uh, and it's so dominant within the actual flavour that it's, it's, it's really not nice. It just kills everything off. In this, it's like there's, there's a little hint of that, you know, which adds to the sort of, you know, the as they call it, the analogue cigarette kind of a taste to it, if you like, because it, it, it almost suggests kind of burning, if you like, you know, that, that, that it is uh, tobacco leaves that are burning, and that's why you're getting that sort of a bit of a taste. But it's really quite subtle in this. So... That's three tobaccos on the trot now that are very good, all completely different from each other, but that is that is very, very nice. Uh, that is one that I could definitely do all day. Um, it's not quite as, 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 as dark and as thick, if you like, as the Cubana, uh, for me, for my taste. Um, but it's got that little bit of sweetness there. It's certainly got. Um, it's it's like there is a mixture of tobacco going on. You know, it's it's it's. It, you couldn't pick it out as being any particular type of tobacco, uh, but as a blend, it's very very nice. Um, throat hit is good on it. Vapor is good on it. Yeah, a quality liquid. Again, I mean, what can I say? It's I like it. I like it a lot. Mm. 
Now, next one. Uh, this is a new one, as far as I can, um, as far as I understand. Um, I think this one was actually launched over in the UK at Vape Fest um, 2013, which wasn't too long ago. Um, so this one is called uh, Minty the Tough. And here we are, and again, 16 milligram in this case here. Now, this one, yeah, it's toffee it's caramel you know I mean that's 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 straight away you can you can get that off it and you can also smell a little bit of the mint of it as well now let me just have a look here and see what they say about this one although it's pretty obvious to me what it's going to taste like um, minty the toff okay minty the toff is an elegant gentleman who reeks of culture and panache this vape is much the same as said gentleman, where only the best ingredients are used to formulate this juice. A meld of classic English caramel and toffee, interwoven with a taste of mint extracted straight from the leaf, which creates a sweet vapour to savour. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, let's stick this on here now. As I said... It couldn't be, you know, you know what it's going to, well, I think I know what it's going to, I haven't tried it yet, and I think I know what it's going to taste like. Straight away, you get the caramel. I mean, on the way in, you, it's, and it's that sort of a caramelly toffee that it stays in your mouth. It's like one of those toffee it's, do you know what? It's exactly like one of those toffee sweets that you used to get with the mint in it. And I can't remember what they're called. But it's basically like a toffee that's just got a bit of mint running through it. And that's exactly what this tastes like. I mean, it's it's there's nothing else in it. It's just sort of, as they say, a mixture of sort of caramel toffee. For me, it's more the toffee end rather than the caramel. Um, and then with a light mint going through it. It's not, it's not big mint. The mint isn't dominating. It's very much a toffee. Um, but with just a little note of, of mint just floating on the top of it. Throat hit on that isn't as, as big as it is on the tobaccos, but still is there. It's pleasant. Vapour seems to be absolutely fine coming out of it. Um, you're left with, in your mouth afterwards, you're left with the toffee. But after a little while, that sort of disappears and there's just a very, very light mint sort of taste left behind. Um, so again, as an all-day vape, for me, it wouldn't be. Um, and that is because, you know, I'm not, well, toffee, I, yeah, I like toffee, but it's not something I want to, you know, have uh, a taste in my mouth of the whole time. Um, so it's not something that I would be uh, vaping all day, but it's it's very pleasant. I mean, it really is. It's It, it, it's lovely. It really is. Um, sometimes you get with juices, you know, they, they, they become all, almost overly complex. They're, there's too many things going on in there. And in the end, they say that it's meant to taste like such and such, and it ends up tasting something completely different. Uh, but this one, it is exactly what it says on the bottle, which is mint and toffee. And that's it. And if you like toffee with a hint of mint, then the likelihood is that you really like uh, minty the toff. Again, very, very nice. Next one up is a Forest Affair. Let's there, show it to you there. Forest Affair. Um, and this is another new one that was launched at Vape Fest uh, in the UK um, a short while back ago. Uh, I have tried this one before, um, so I know exactly what it tastes like. Um, what it says about it is Forest Affair is a marriage of over 10 different flavours which come together to make a very special vape, blended specially for Vape Fest 2013. This succulent creation is an absolute must for berry vapours. The basic ingredients include vanilla, blackberry, blueberry, raspberry, sloe, and a sprinkle of spice. This one will be very hard to put down. And they've got a slightly strange picture of two people um, in a forest. Um, there you go, both with bits of uh, insulating tape over their eyes for some strange reason.
Anyhow, let's see what this one's like. It's berries all over, absolutely all over the place. But again, it is not, this isn't a very, very sweet berry one. Some of them did you get that are sickly. This is, you know, it's a, it's a, almost like a sharp berry for me. I mean, they don't mention anything about, uh, you know, any kind of sour element to it. Um, maybe it's the slows, could be the slows that are doing that, uh, or the spice that they're talking about, because yeah, as you inhale it, as it comes into your mouth, it is, it, it's, it's berry, it's berry all over the place. But when you go to exhale it, there is this other element to it, this other layer, this spicy, sort of soury sort of layer to it. Sour is probably going a bit too far. Um, it wouldn't be a full sour, but it is. I think whatever balance it is that they have within it is probably just about right because it's not like you've been eating sweets, berry sweets, or or something like that, or drinking a big glass of you know multi fruit ribena or something. It is you're getting all of those berries in there, but in a very you wouldn't quite say sort of a conservative way, but in a very sort of encapsulated way where. It's quite concentrated, but you have got this, on the exhale, you you have got this slightly tart um, side to it, which I think is very, very pleasant. Um, throat hit is, is good. Yeah, the throat hit is very good. Um, the vapor is fine off it as well. As I've said before, I'm not one of these people that requires huge amounts of vapor. Um, that's not so important to me. What's important to me is the taste. And in this case, the taste, uh, for what it is, which is um, forest affair, it certainly is. It's a forest fruit uh, one. And again, very, very nice. No artificial taste to it. It actually tastes quite natural, um, which again has to be a plus. So um, another thumbs up. Right, this next one is another new flavour of theirs. It's called Red Astaire. And the colour of the liquid is absolutely amazing. I um, don't know whether we can see it at the top of... You might be able to see this in the carto. You can see it there, how pink it is. And the smell of it is incredibly strong smell. Um, their description of it is Red Astaire is a bold vape which is not for the faint hearted. And when you smell it, yes, it's a pretty strong smell. The lush taste of red berries and black grape is stampeded by the verbose overtones of sweet eucalypt eucalyptus, aniseed, and menthol in a flavour that will stay dancing on your tongue for a long, long time after you have exhaled. And they've got a picture of a very strange looking man um, who's looking sort of slightly blushed, uh, slightly reddish there. So maybe that's Red Astaire himself. So let's give it a go. Even as that's on the way in, you can you you can your mouth's starting to react to it in in quite a big way. Um, there's a lot going on in this one. Um, yes, there's certainly berries. Um, you would never be. I certainly wouldn't be able to pick out what berries are in there. I mean, they're saying red berries. Um, but this eucalyptus, yes, there's definitely eucalyptus aniseed. Small bit of aniseed. You know, again, I I'm not a big aniseed fan, but um, you know, there's enough there. Uh, to sort of, you know, a suggestion of it, if you like, and then there's certainly menthol, so you get that, that sort of cooling sort of feeling in your, in your mouth. Very good throat hit, but that would be helped by the menthol anyway. Um, again, it's, it's very nice. It is, um, it's, it's a very well-made liquid, a very, very well-balanced uh, liquid. 
um, you're getting enough of the berries coming through that you know all the aniseed and and the eucalyptus and uh, the menthol is not killing it off you can still taste the berry undertone on the whole thing but you're getting your your mouth's basically dancing as a consequence of those other three uh, elements that they have mixed into it the more you vape on it as well the more it all sort of starts to you know coalesce and come together um, at the beginning, you know, I was picking out the various different, you know, I could almost taste the various different elements within it. Um, but as you, as you, you know, inhale it a few more times, the whole thing just seems to round out and it seems to pull together. And um, it sort of sounds a bit strange, but it's almost like you've got a ball of, 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 of flavour in your mouth, you know, that, that every part of your mouth is actually picking up uh, what's going on in this. So it's a big, big berry flavour, this one. It's a cracker. It really is. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. And full marks for it. Um, all day vape, not for me. Um, purely because the strength of it is such that, you know, uh, I could imagine that, you know, uh, if, if I had it on the go all day long, it would just become just a little bit too much for me. Uh, but certainly as a sort of a dessert vape or an occasional vape, um, for me, absolutely. I can still taste it. I mean, it's it's the aniseed is is uh, is there. You know, uh, you can you can it that lingers. And for me, I mean, there's a lot of people who like aniseed. You got to get those sort of aniseed type of um, chewing gums and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, they're very popular. Uh, not for me. I just don't like them. Um, so for me. The only downside to this, and this is a personal thing for me, is the aniseed, which is basically lingers. And I know that if I was vaping all this all day, it would end up, um, you know, just getting on my nerves a little bit. Uh, but again, that's just my opinion. Um, anybody who likes aniseed, likes berries, likes eucalyptus, there's only a little bit of it in it. Um, and then the menthol, just to sort of, you know, round the whole thing off, all sitting on top of a, you know, a huge explosion of berries, which is obviously in there. Um, it is a very, very, very um, good vape. So, um, another good one. Okay, our last one, sorry, our second last one is called Ice Queen. And here we go, 16 uh, milligram again. Um, darker flavour, or sort of the darker colour than you'd expect, or that I would expect anyway, for something which is more uh, a sort of a menthol uh, type vape. But when uh, you see the description, you can uh, understand why. It says, to complement the new real flavour extract range, Ice Queen has been perfected for menthol cigarette lovers. Using parts of the Prima Verde base, we have added a sprinkling of menthol crystals and peppermint, which delivers a multifaceted flavour sensation. Be dazzled by the Ice Queen's brilliance. Okay, well, let's see if um, her brilliance is dazzling. Let's give it a go. It's good when you read descriptions, that the descriptions are very close to what the actual vape is. And in this particular case, it is. Now, I've had the benefit of trying Prima Verde just a short while back ago, so I can understand when they say that it's using parts of the Prima Verde base, we have added a sprinkling of menthol. So I know what that Prima Verde base tastes like. And it's very much here. So essentially what we are talking about is the Prima Verde, which I talked about earlier on, which is a, a nice tobacco vape. Uh, and they have added these uh, extra bits onto it, you know, such as the mint and the uh, menthol. Not getting too much mint, I'd have to say. And there's only a relatively small amount of menthol in there. Uh, but the throat hit is great off it. Uh, the vapour is good off it. Um, what do I think of it? 
you know, uh, and I suppose it's a case of, well, if I had the option of the Prima Verde on its own or this one, um, what would I go for? And I'd go for the Prima Verde on its own, frankly, but then I'm not a great Menthol fan anyhow. But it's very good. It is very, very good. It, it's all it is is it's it's just adding that little bit of layer, that little layer onto um, you know what already is a good liquid, which is the Prima Verde, and um, so I could imagine that some people would really like that. Um, you know, if you are a sort of a, a menthol lover, um, it's very good because it it doesn't it doesn't overpower you at all. Uh, the menthol, um, the mint, as I said, I'm not really getting it, but I've been through a few liquids at this stage, you know, so. Um, it could be that my taste buds are, are starting to suffer slightly, but if there is mint there, which I'm sure there is because they say there is, um, it's pretty subtle. Uh, but the menthol is definitely sitting on top of Prima Verde. Uh, and as a mix, does that work? Yes, it does. I think it works very, very well. So another quality, quality liquid. Now we come to the last one, and um, I've been uh, very interested in this. Uh, this is Mintastic, um, which is obviously mint. But what's interesting uh, for me is, you see there, it says zero milligrams, right? So there is no nicotine in this at all. Uh, so this is just pure PGVG um, with the flavoring in it, but no nicotine whatsoever. Now, I've never ever tried a juice before with no nicotine in it. So, let's see what it's like. Mmm. Let me just uh, pull up what it is that they say about it here. Uh, if we can find it. Fancy vaping Apollo mint. If pure menthol is not your thing and you love a minty taste, then this could be your medicine. Invigorating yet soothing, this wonderful combination of peppermint, menthol and spearmint calms your spirit and mind down to a sub-zero level of tranquility. Its cool spiciness makes Mintastic such a fantastic tea juice flavour. Okay. Now, on the one hand, they're saying if menthol isn't your thing, and then later on they're saying that there's actually menthol in it, which is kind of a bit weird, but um, let's just see now. There's only a tiny bit of menthol in there. I mean, it is mint. Now, yeah, is it a polo mint? To me, it's not quite strong enough to be a polo mint, uh, but it's that it's that end of mint. You know, you get spearmint and you get peppermint, and there's all these different types of mints that you can actually get. It is the polo mint type mint, um, but it's not as strong as a polo mint. You know, it's 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 not like you know you've just got pure polo mint vapor going in. As I said, a little bit of menthol there, but not not much. Um, now zero nicotine zero milligrams in this particular one uh, it's very interesting because as i said i've never tried a zero milligram before the only thing that is lacking is throat hit there is no throat hit none for me, anyway. Now, it could be that for some people, you know, who'd be more sensitive uh, to, you know, to that sort of thing, that they'd pick up something. But for me, there may be the slightest, slightest little bit of the menthol kind of throat hit going on, but it's it's almost imperceptible. But does that take away from it? Well, for me, yeah, I like throat hit. It's 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 part of the experience of vaping that I enjoy. Um, but to actually have a liquid which has got you know zero milligrams, no nicotine whatsoever, the taste is good as that, and it does. It's just a pure mint. I mean, it's it's a very it's a lovely mint flavor. I'd have to say that you can happily vape away on that. 
and know that no nicotine is going into you whatsoever. I think that's terrific. I think that's absolutely terrific. Um, now, would it be an all-day vape for me? Uh, the answer is no, it wouldn't. Uh, now, they do do it in different um, levels, you know, so they have it at uh, 16 milligram at 11 and then at zero. And I don't have the 11 version of it, but I would imagine that, you know, you're obviously going to get a bit of a throat hit off the 11 milligram. Um, I'm sure it's going to taste exactly like this one does, uh, which means that it's going to taste very nice. It's just a really nice mint. That's all. But uh, for me, I think the magic on this one is the zero milligram. OK, no throat hit, but um, what a gorgeous taste. And uh, again, you know, my personal thing is I've actually come down in the nicotine levels over the last period of, of time. I tend to be on 12. Um, I have some sixes, you know, I'll probably end up on six. Will I ever go down to zero? I don't know. You know, I may well do in the future, but if there's liquids around like that, zero milligram liquids around like that, that taste as good as that, then I, I don't see why not. Uh, really, really good. So, to round it up, in conclusion, what can I say? Um, I always feel, you know, I suppose slightly uncomfortable, if you like, when I come to the end of doing a, num you know, a review of a number of liquids and I actually find all of them really, really good. Uh, you know, it's, it's almost like it's, it's too easy. Um, because I know certainly in the past I've had lots of issues with lots of appalling liquids that are out there. But maybe what's happening is, is that the industry is actually just growing up. Um, demand is now such that people are a lot more discerning than they were. They won't tolerate crap juices. Um, so some of these, you know, better companies that are out there are really putting a lot of effort into making something quite special. Um, because if people don't like it, they don't buy it and they companies don't make money and that's that. So it's great. The bar is being raised the whole time by, by us, you know, by the vapors purely based on the demand, you know, um, that we have for quality stuff. So of all of these liquids, yeah, I, I most of them I, I like. Uh, tea juice has a much, much bigger range than this as well. This is only eight. There's many, many more out there. Uh, I can't vouch for, for the rest of them, obviously. I haven't tried them. Um, but and I'm sure amongst those other ones, there's some that, that I wouldn't like uh, as much as, you know, others. But on the samples that I've been given, I think they're absolutely terrific. So all in all, I'd have to say from my point of view, from my opinion, from my taste buds, you know, from how I like to vape, uh, I think tea juice have really got some nice ones. Um, and on a final note, uh, I just I mentioned at the beginning of this video about my palate cleanser, which was uh, is always tea. Um, and that I'd been given a hard time by a number of people because I'd been uh, uh, drinking lion's tea in the last one that I did and not Barry's tea because there's a war on between Barry's tea and lion's tea drinkers. So what I said earlier on was that I specially went out and I got some Barry's tea, you know, just for balance and just, you know, to sort of appease those people that were out there. Um, but in reality, you know, I have to say that... Um, this tea that's been with me through this review is not Barry's tea at all. It's actually Lion's tea. So uh, thanks very much. Hope you enjoyed the, the review and I'll catch you again soon. Cheers. Bye. Sorry, I meant to mention um, that all of these juices that I've had here, the eight juices, along with all of the, uh, the cartos, that uh, the juices were in um, will be going up uh, as a sort of a giveaway competition on um, the two Irish main Irish vaping uh, Facebook pages so Irish vaping and vaping Ireland and again I'll put up the uh, addresses there um, they're great great Facebook pages uh, loads of interesting stuff a lot of people go on for help it's always a bit of crack, a bit of fun or whatever. Uh, and quite regularly there's uh, giveaways as well. So anyway, these eight juices will be going up sometime in the next week. Um, and uh, so again, thanks to easysmoke.ie for sending them to me. And uh, I hope whoever actually gets them in the competition uh, finds them as enjoyable as I did. Thanks again. Cheers. Bye.